Farmers have always known that when you care for the land, you care for a way of life, everyone's way of life. And that comes from knowing stewardship is a responsibility. Planting cover crops is one of several forms of proactive environmental conservation. We all benefit. It's like a sponge. It's, it's absorbing nutrients that may be left over from the previous crop. So instead of that potentially leaching into the water system, the cover crop is growing, absorbing those nutrients, storing them up in a, in a natural way so they can be reused in the next crop. Today's farmer employs an array of specialized technologies, such as using variable rate fertilizers, soil sampling, and cover crops to promote sound environmental stewardship. What's the world, what's this land going to be like in 100 years? And to me, that's the biggest thing, is trying to preserve things for the future. You know, to see an airplane flying, they just assume that they're applying chemicals or pesticides. But in the case of our cover crops this fall, you know, airplanes are actually applying seed and for a cover crop, which would scavenge any nutrients that would run off and, you know, hopefully promote a better soil environment, soil health, and, and uh, uh, just a, a better uh, environment for, for our area. He had the GPS coordinates of all the fields. Uh, he, he, did a light, he had a light bar to guide him so he could uh, apply it correctly in the right spot. And uh, we got maps back with all, those, all that data on so we know exactly where he did fly it and uh, did a wonderful job of being able to maneuver around power lines and cell towers. I live here. I live in this neighborhood and uh, we just need to take care of what we got. We got to keep farming for a long time in the future and uh, so we got to keep the got to keep the soil productive for there's going to be just more and more people. And the other thing is we want to keep the water clean and all those type of things also. It's important to me that people know that we as farmers practice environmentally safe, environmentally friendly farming. And I think that's what um, the cover crops are doing. It's kind, of a, it's kind of an extension of that. It's a visual thing that people that don't know a lot about farming can see because it's green growing up. It's not something that I don't think you'll really get a lot of economic driver to, but it's more um, doing the the right thing for the soil. I think it's it's not really something you can put a price on. I guess that there's more you know you're putting increasing value to your soil that you're not necessarily going to be able to tie a dollar value to. It's a living biological system, and if we can get our hands around that. We understand that that system needs to be taken care of year round. And the more we can do to make that system healthy, the better our crop production is going to be, but it's also a huge environmental benefit. We're using everything that's in the soil, all the earthworms, all the, the microbial activity, the, the plants that are growing, to make it a healthier system so that one, we can raise a better crop, but the other is, is so we can do all the things we mentioned, storing nutrients and keeping the soil where it needs to be for a long, long time. If you'd like more information about the continually evolving practices employed by today's farmers to fine tune and address the unique management challenges associated with cover crops, contact these great sources.